Well, howdy there, Internet students. Uh, it's Mr. Hermanson again. Today we are going to get really good at writing equations of lines when two points are known or when the point and uh, one and the slope is known. Um, so uh, this is really mathematical, so you're going to have to pay attention a little bit here. Um, but I think you'll find you can do it. Okay, so, um, so here's the problem we're going to do right here. And uh, what is the equation of a line that has a slope of 4 and passes through the point 1, 5? All right. Um, so you have to think about what does the slope tell you about this line? Um, and um, the fact that you have a point 1, 5 means that that's a solution to this equation. When you substitute in... Uh, the variables, or the numbers for the variables, 1 and 5, um, it'll make it true. So all that helps you figure it out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the 4, the slope, right next to the x. So you know that's your multiplier, that you're going to multiply x by 4. And then um, you're going to have to figure out what you need to add on here to make this true. Now, this 1 is actually x, and this 5 is actually y. So that means you can do 1 times 4, 4 times 1. I remember where I got that 1 from. It came from the point. And then I have to figure out what do I need to add to that to make it equal the y value, which is 5. So notice I put 5 where the y is, and I put 1 where the x is. Okay? Um, and now I just have a simple little equation. Uh, 4 times 1 is 4, so I just have to think 4 plus what number is equal to 5? And um, normally you would backtrack on that, but this is pretty simple, right? It's just 4 plus 1. So that one, that extra thing added on, is your y-intercept. So the equation is y equals 4x plus 1. All right. Um, I'm going to let you give that a shot. Uh, I'll, I'll put my work and explain it again, but uh, go ahead and pause here and then try. Okay, what you should have done is start by putting negative 1 where the slope goes, which is right in front of the x. It's the coefficient. And then you just have some missing number that you got to figure out, this extra b part right here. Okay. Now you know that um, when x is 1, y is 4 from this point right here. So I'm going to put the 4 where the y is. And I'm going to put the 1 where the x is, and then I'm going to just finish figuring that out. Okay? All right. Um, so, and now you can just do some math here. You can do uh, negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. Figure out what would you add to that to equal 4. And I'm uh, just thinking about a number line from negative 1, how much do you have to add to get to 4, and that would be 5. And that extra thing added on right there is your y-intercept. That's your b value. And so the equation is y equals negative 1x plus 5. Um, now, I'm kind of a lazy mathematician, so you may see me write it like this, because I know that 1 times x is just x. So you may see me write it like that, and you'll just have to know that there's a 1 in front of that x. All right. Um, now, the second thing we got to learn here is what if we ha are given two points on the line and we want to find the equation? Well, um, it's pretty much like the last problem. Um, when you have two points on the line, you can figure out the slope using this little slope formula here. So the first thing we want to do is find the slope which that's the letter M in our equation. And so I'm going to do 5 minus 3 on top and 1 minus 0 on bottom. 
and that gives me 2 over 1, which is 2. So now I have the slope of 2. Now I can start my equation. I know that my coefficient is 2, my slope. And um, I have that much, but I still need this little part here. Well, in this case, we have x here is 1, y is 5, or uh, I could use x is 0, y is 3. I can use either of those to substitute in for x and y in the equation. Um, so I'll just pick the first one here. So y, um, y is 5, put that there. And then x is 1, so do 2 times 1 plus this. Okay, well, 2 times 1 is 2, right? And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So my b value is 3. My y-intercept is 3. And um, so my equation is y equals 2x plus 3. Now, um, I'm, I'm hoping some of you noticed that we actually had the y-intercept there. We probably didn't need to do all that work, but I wanted you to see how to do it. So, so I showed you that. And then the last thing you should probably do is check and make sure that other point works. Um, and you would do that by substituting that x and y value, the 0 and the 3, in for x and y. And so if you put 0 there, that'd be 2 times 0, which is 0 plus 3 would equal 3, so that checks out the 0, 3 works. All right, so um, why don't you try it? Start by finding your slope. Okay, so in both these problems, find the slope. And then um, you're going to use one of the points to substitute in for x and y so that you can find the y-intercept, the b part. All right, give it a shot. All right, here's my work. I would have done uh, maybe 0 minus negative 3 for my y's and then 2 minus 1. So that gives me 3 over 1, which is 3. Then I would have put started my equation y equals 3x plus, um, leave this blank for a second. I'm going to substitute. Um, no, I think I like the, these numbers. Now, that's not the y-intercept because x isn't 0. I mean, yeah, right, x isn't 0. Um, so I'm going to put the 2 where the x is. So do 3 times 2 and figure out what I have to add to make that equal to the y value, which is 0. And 3 times 2 is 6, right? So I would have to add negative 6 to make that equal 0. So negative 6. Um, and so the equation is y equals 3x, and I'm kind of lazy here too. I, you could put plus negative 6 or just minus 6. The last thing you probably want to do is check and make sure the other point works to see if you did it right. That's this point where x is 1 and y is negative 3. x is 1, put that there. y is negative 3, put that there. And then just do the math, make sure it works. 3 minus 6 is equal to negative 3. That checks out. All right, here's what I did here. I took uh, 7 minus negative 9 on top to get the rise. And then I did negative 1 minus 3 to get the run. And that would be 16 over negative 4, which is negative 4. So y equals negative 4 times x plus something. Pick one of these two points. doesn't really matter which one. Um, I'll use the negative 1 and 7. So put 7 where the y is. Put negative 1 where the x is and multiply that by negative 4. And then figure out what we need here. 7 equals... 4, negative times negative is a positive, remember, plus something. And so I would just do 7 minus 4 to get that, which is 3. So b equals 3. And then um, write the equation y equals negative 4x plus 3. And then check to make sure the other point works, this point right here, 3, negative 9. Um, so I'm going to put the 3 where the x is, put the 9 where the y is, 
or was I negative 9? Yeah, negative 9. And just do the math, see if that works. And it seems to work. Nice. Happy about that. All right. Um, so that's the lesson. Um, here's what we're going to do. You're going to do this page of homework today. And then tomorrow, um, you're going to be a little bit foggy on this, so you're going to probably want to review this video lesson again. And then you're going to do this page of homework the next day. All right, so that's how it's going to work, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.